today I'd love to show you how to make my show-stopping chestnut chocolate orange Christmas dessert. We're going to put 125 grams of chocolate with 75 grams of butter and place it into a bain-marie here of some simmering water. I've got a little mini food processor, so I'm gonna put the prunes in. If you don't wanna use prunes, you can use dates instead, maybe apricots. The next step is to whisk up the egg whites. Now we wanna pour in uh, the chocolate and butter. And we just want to do this slowly. If you put it in too fast, the warm chocolate is going to cook uh, the eggs. We just want to gradually pour it in and whisk at the same time. The egg whites are a soft peak, so they hold their shape. Fold the egg whites in. The whole point of the egg white is to get volume. The next step is stick it in the oven. And that's preheated to 170 degrees and it needs approximately half an hour, maybe 35 minutes, depending on your oven. A good way to check whether the torch cooked is you'll see some small cracks on the top. Let that cool completely, stick in the fridge for around two hours. do uh, another zest and juice of another orange. If you don't like orange, we can put in lavender with chocolate works really well. You can add uh, ginger. So that's well combined now. So that's uh, ready to go into the two prepared tins. So that's uh, gonna bake for approximately 20 minutes on 170. This is 60% uh, chocolate again. Milk chocolate will work just as well. This is going to have water in it instead of cream. That's a little healthier. We just need to let that sit for about 5-10 minutes just to set slightly. Uh, we're going to prepare the Italian meringue topping now. Bring it up to 125 degrees Celsius. We want to just to pour the sugar syrup in really slowly. There's no need to cook this meringue because the hot sugar syrup cooks the egg. We're just going to put ganache on the top and work it down the sides. And we're ready to start piping. I've got a disposable piping bag. These are handy. It's a good idea to get all these ingredients and all your utensils together ready before you go. We'll start on the outside and just work our way around to the middle. So you just want to lightly blue torch the meringues so they turn like a nice golden colour. Done. So that's my show-stopping chestnut chocolate orange Christmas dessert. Merry Christmas.